Hello friends, welcome to Sarah Biology class. Today we shall discuss about extra nuclear inheritance. Throughout the history of genetics, occasional reports have challenged the basic tenet of Mendelian transmission genetics. Observations have revealed inheritance pattern that fail to reflect Mendelian principle and some indicate an apparent extranuclear influence on phenotype. Inheritance in which the genetic information is transmitted to the offspring through the cytoplasm rather than through the nucleus, most often from only one parent, is known as extranuclear or cytoplasmic inheritance. There are several varieties of extranuclear inheritance such as organal heredity, infectious heredity and maternal effect. Organal heredity include inheritance patterns that arise from chloroplast and mitochondrial function. In case of organal heredity, the DNA contained in chloroplast and mitochondria determines certain phenotypic characteristics of the organism. And second type is infectious heredity, which results from a symbiotic or a parasitic association with a microorganism. In such cases, the inherited phenotype is affected by the presence of a microorganism in the cytoplasm of the host cell. Third variety involves maternal effect on phenotype whereby nuclear gene products are stored in the egg and then transmitted through the ooplasm to the offspring. The gene products are distributed to the cells of the developing embryo and influence its phenotype. Organal heredity is the transmission of genetic information determined by organelle genes such as those are present in mitochondria and chloroplast. In some cases, the traits appear to be transmitted from only the maternal parent through the ooplasm, causing the results of the reciprocal process to vary. Such type of inheritance is known as maternal inheritance. Now let us take the example of chloroplast inheritance. Sometimes cells contain mixtures of mutant and normal organelles. Such cells are called as cytohets. Cytohets or heteroplasmons or heteroplasmons. In these mixtures, a type of cytoplasmic segregation can be detected in which these two types of organelles segregate themselves into different cells during cell division. Mutation in chloroplast gene cause white leaves. Since chlorophyll is necessary for plants to live, these mutations are lethal, hence plants having white leaves cannot be obtained for experimental process. However, some plants are variegated having green and white patches. Such plants are alive and are useful to demonstrate cytoplasmic segregation. In 1908, Carl Porens, in 1908, Carl Porens provided the earliest example of inheritance linked to chloroplast transmission. He discovered a variety of Mirabilis jalapa Mirabilis jalapa commonly known as 
four o'clock plants in which some branches have white leaves, some have green leaves and others have variegated leaves. These plants are useful to demonstrate cytoplasmic segregation. This figure shows a variegated four o'clock plant in which some branches have green leaves, some have white leaves and others have variegated leaves. Such type of plants are useful to demonstrate cytoplasmic segregation. Mutant alleles cause chloroplasts to be white which in turn determine the color of the cells and hence color of the branch composed of those cells. Variegated branches are mosaic of all green and all white cells. Flowers can develop on a branch having green leaves or white leaves or variegated leaves and the chloroplast gene of the flower cell will be those of the branch on which it develops. Hence in a cross, the maternal gamete determine the leaf and branch color of the progeny plant. When the maternal gamete is from a branch having white leaves, then all progenies will have white. But because of the lethality of the mutation, these plants cannot survive beyond seedling stage. But when the maternal gamut is from a branch with green leaves, then progenies will all be green. These two exhibit strict maternal inheritance in which the genetic information is transmitted from the egg cell through the ooplasm to the offspring. Variegated zygotes exhibit cytoplasmic segregation. The zygotes are produced from egg cell which contain a mixture of normal and mutant organelles. When such a zygote divide, green and white chloroplasts segregate themselves into separate daughter cells during cell division thereby creating distinct sector of green and white cells as a result producing variegation in the branch of four o'clock plant. In addition to four o'clock plant, Chlamydomonas rain hardy, an unicellular green algae is also useful to investigate chloroplast inheritance. Chlamydomonas is haploid having a single large chloroplast that contains about 75 copies of circular double-stranded DNA molecules. The first known cytoplasmic mutation that is the streptomycin resistance was reported in Chlamydomonas by Ruth Sager in 1954. In Chlamydomonas, although both mating types, MT plus and MT minus, appear to make equal contribution to the zygote, Sarder determined that streptomycin resistance phenotype is transmitted only through the MT plus parent. Reciprocal cross between MT plus and MT minus strain yield different results depending on the genotype of the MT plus parent. In both of the cross, half of the offsprings are MT plus and remaining half are MT minus, indicating that mating type is controlled by nuclear gene that segregate in a Mendelian fashion. Following fertilization, which involved the fusion of cells of two opposite mating type, the diploid zygote divide mutically, producing haploid cells. So in this cross, because the MT plus parent is streptomycin resistant, 
so all offspring are streptomycin resistant that mean the streptomycin resistance is transmitted only through the mt plus parent whereas in this cross because the mt plus parent is streptomycin sensitive so all offspring are streptomycin sensitive from this example it is clear that the genetic information in the chloroplast or progeny cells are derived from only the mt plus parent whereas the genetic information in the mt minus chloroplast has been disintegrated extra nuclear inheritance has also been studied in the yeast saccharomyces cerevisiae involving mitochondrial function the first mitochondrial mutation was described in yeast by boris efrusi and his co-workers in 1900 56 these mutations are named as pitite because of small size of yeast colonies many independent pitite mutations have been discovered and have been studied in all of them there is a deficiency of respiration involving abnormal electron transport This figure outlines the complex genetics of different classes of pitite mutants. In all classes of pitite, following a cross between the mutant and the haploid and normal type cell, a diploid zygote is formed which then undergo meiosis, producing haploid spores that give rise to yeast colonies a small proportion of the mutants arise due to mutation in the nuclear genes whose products are transported to and function in mitochondria these mutants exhibit mendelian inheritance and hence are referred to as segregational pitides remaining two classes of mutants one is neutral pitite and the other is suppressive pitite exhibit cytoplasmic transmission both of them arise due to alteration in the mitochondrial dna in case of neutral pitite when the mutant is crossed to a normal or wild type A diploid zygote is formed which then undergo meiosis producing haploid spores and all of them yield normal colonies majority of neutrals have either lack the mitochondrial dna completely or have lost a substantial portion of it so for offspring to be normal neutrals must be inheriting mitochondria from the normal parent following reproduction this indicate that in yeast mitochondria are inherited from both the parents in the next class of mutants known as suppressive pitite when the mutant is crossed to a normal haploid cell here also the diploid zygote is formed who is then undergo meiosis yielding haploid spores that give rise to all pitide colonies this demonstrate extra nuclear inheritance in yeast in another variety of extra nuclear inheritance known as maternal effect or maternal influence in which an offspring phenotype for a particular trait is under the control of nuclear gene products present in the egg this is different from biparental inheritance in which both parents contribute nuclear genes that control the phenotype of the offspring so in case of maternal effect 
the nuclear genes of the female gamete are transcribed and then their genetic products such as untranslated RNA or proteins accumulated in the cytoplasm of the egg. After fertilization, when new cells are formed, these products are distributed among them and determine their phenotype. An example of maternal effect is in relation to the coiling of shell in snail Limnaya peregra. Limnaya peregra. Some strains of the snail have dextrally or right-handed coiled cells and other strains have sinistrally or left-handed coiled cell. This organism is hermaphrodite and can undergo cross or self-fertilization thereby providing a variety of mating types. This figure shows the result of a reciprocal cross which give different results although both crosses are between sinistrally and dextrally coiled organisms. In this example, maternal effect is evident in generation 2 and 3 in which the coiling of the cell in the snail is dependent on the genotype of the maternal parent that contribute the female gamete. The male gamete have no influence on the coiling of the cell. So when the female gamete is derived from a parent which is either homozygous dominant or heterozygous, then the snail will have dextral or right-handed coil cell. But when the female gamete is obtained from the parent which is homozygous recessive, then the coiling will be sinistral or left-handed. So in this example, because the female gamete is obtained from the parent, which is homozygous dominant, so the offspring that develop from this egg will have right-handed coiled cell. But here, because the female gamete is derived from the parent, which is homozygous recessive, because of this, when such type of egg is fertilized by the sperm, gives rise to the snail which has left-handed or sinistrally coiled shell. Similar effect is obtained in case of generation 3. So the coiling of cell in the snail Limnaya paragra demonstrate maternal influence. Friends, this is all about extranuclear inheritance. For more updates, subscribe my YouTube channel Sam Biology Plus.